Hello everyone. Today we'll talk about another kind of smart pointer. It's called unique pointer. A unique pointer represents exclusive ownership of an object. So unlike the shared pointers, where multiple shared pointers can share the ownership of the same object, for unique pointer, one object can only be owned by one unique pointer. And when that one unique pointer goes out of scope, or it starts to own another object, then the original object will be automatically deleted. Another difference between a unique pointer and a shared pointer is a unique pointer is a lightweight smart pointer, so it is less expensive to use than a shared pointer. If you have a lot of pointers saved in your program and they are not shared. It is preferred to use unique pointer rather than shared pointers. Now let's look at some example. We have a test function, and the test function will be invoked by the main function. Inside the test function, we create a new dog Gunner on the heap, and then we call the function bark. And imagine it also does a bunch of different things, and eventually. The dog PD is deleted. This is the old-fashioned way of programming in C++. However, this code has some problems. Imagine while PD does a bunch of different things, it returned to the main function prematurely, or it throws some exceptions. In either case, the dog will not be deleted. The dog's resource will be leaked. So the better solution is using a unique pointer to manage the dog, and now we even don't need to delete the dog. And let's run it. The result is what we expected: Gunner is created, Gunner loses, Gunner is destroyed. And of course, if we change the unique pointer to a shared pointer, this code will work equally well. However, since the dog's pointer will not be shared, using a shared pointer is an overkill. Remember, the shared pointer has a get function, which returns the raw pointer. A unique pointer has a similar release function, which also returns the raw pointer. After calling the release function, PD has given up its ownership of the dog. So as a result, nobody owns the dog anymore, and nobody will automatically delete the dog. If we run the program, Gunner is created, Gunner rules, and Gunner is not deleted. We can check if a unique pointer is a null pointer, same way as checking a raw pointer. If PD is null, it points out PD is empty. Now let's run it. And it print out PD is empty. If you recall, the shared pointer's get function doesn't give up the ownership of the object, but the unique pointer's release function does give up the ownership. Now, say we don't call the release function, we call reset function, which resets PD to another dog, Smokey. And we'll also print out some message if. The PD is not empty. Now let's run the program. Now both Gunner and Smokey are destroyed. But Gunner is destroyed when the reset function is invoked, because PD starts to own another dog, so the original dog Gunner is destroyed, and Smokey is destroyed when PD goes out of scope. And before Smoky is destroyed, PD is not empty. Now suppose we don't pass any parameter to the reset function. This has the same effect of setting PD to null pointer. And if we run the program, and again Gunner is destroyed at the point the reset function is called. And now PD is empty. At the end, when PD goes out of scope, nothing is deleted. 
So the reset function destroys the original object and the release function doesn't destroy the object. We have said that two unique pointers cannot share the same object at the same time, but they could share the same object at a different time. For example, we have uh, we have a unique pointer PD which points to a dog gunner and PD2 points to Smokey and let uh, PD2 bark and then call PD2 equal to move PD and then PD2 bark again. Let's run it. So the PD2 first barks Smokey rules and then Smokey is destroyed then gunner rules and then gunner is destroyed. Here we are using move semantics to move gunner from PD to PD2. This line of code has three consequences. Number one, Smokey is destroyed. Number two, PD becomes empty. Number three, PD2 own, owns gunner. So this is how you transfer the ownership from one unique pointer to another unique pointer. Now let's say we have a function f which takes a unique pointer as a parameter and inside f it calls buck. And uh, suppose we only have one unique pointer PD, and how do we call the function f? Again, we can use the move semantics to pass the unique pointer to the f function. And if we run the program, it prints out gunner rules, gunner is dis destroyed. Now here's the question, where is the gunner destroyed? Is it destroyed inside f function or inside the test function? To find it out, let's print some message. Here, if the PD is empty, it will print out PD is empty. Now let's run it. It prints out gunner is destroyed and then PD is empty. So the gunner is destroyed inside the f function. Since we have used the move semantics to move the dog gunner from PD to F's parameter P. So PD is no longer the owner of the dog gunner and P is the sole owner of the dog gunner. So when P goes out of the scope, the dog is destroyed. And the similar things happens to the returned value from a function. Say we have a function called getDog which creates a new dog and returns a unique pointer of that new dog. And in the test function, we'll call that getDog function and assign the result to PD2. Since the unique pointer is returned by value, so this will automatically use the move semantics. And as a result of that, P is no longer the owner of the new dog Smokey and PD2 is the sole owner of the dog Smokey. So when PD2 goes out of the scope, dog Smokey is destroyed. If you remember, for the shared pointers, when I create an array of objects, I have to use a custom deleter to delete all the objects. But for the unique pointer, I don't have to do that. For unique pointer, I can simply do this. Because unique pointer is partially specialized for array. So all you need to make sure is the template parameter of the unique pointer is a array. And uh, let's comment out this and run the program. As you see, all three dogs of nameless are destroyed. Unique pointers can also be used as a member data. Say the dog has a member data of uh, 
bounce pointer PB and in the docs constructor we'll create a PB and in the destructor we'll delete PB this is the conventional way of managing the resources in a class however this has a problem say in the constructor we create a new bone but in the rest of the constructor some error happened and an exception is thrown then the created bone will not be destroyed and the resource is leaked to overcome this problem instead of using the raw pointer we're using a unique pointer to manage the bone now even if some exception is thrown inside the constructor the bone will always be destroyed again we could use a shared pointer instead of a unique pointer to manage the bone but if the dog will be instantiated a lot and the pointer to the bone is not shared anyway using the unique pointer is a better choice that's all for today feel free to subscribe to my channel so when I post a new video you'll be updated or you can go to my channel's homepage and see what I'm offering today bye bye